back to another video. I am Debbie. Today I am going to have part five of my Diamond Art Club stash. None of these are going to be de-stashed, but I wanted to show you what I have left. This may even go into a part six. I'm hoping that I can get all of this done and today in part five. And what I'm going to do different than the last four is that I'm just going to show you the boxes and just tell you the size and then also tell you the artist if it's on the box. I still have so many of these. A lot of these are miscellaneous um, artists. So I just wanted to let you see you know, what I do have. But to unbox all of these, it's proving to be really difficult because I had surgery a few years ago on my left hand and I still have a problem with mobility on my thumb and my palm area. So whenever I'm unboxing a lot of these, it's going to take extra time. And I wanted to go ahead and get all this out for you. Some of these are still on Diamond Art Club's website and unfortunately some have been discontinued. I have been collecting since 2020, so I do have quite a bit. When I get to my last video, which you know, if it's this one or if it's another one, I will let you know how many Diamond Art Clubs that I have. It's really embarrassing, but I want to get it out there so that way I can start working on some of these and I will have um, others that will be rooting me on to try to get some of this done. I am now being more selective with my stash because I have um, a little bit of everything and from Diamond Art Club to um, also other companies. And I'm not going to unbox, there's three or four of them from Diamond Art Club that I'm going to save those and unbox those whenever I get ready to work on them. But all the others are unboxed. So I'm going to rearrange a little bit. I have first up is gonna be all of my landscapes. And then um, I will move from there into my next category. These are not in any particular order. It's just how I pulled them off of my shelf. The first one is Artist Room. And this is by Mrs. Buttered. And I think this is the first one that Diamond Art Club had by this artist. And I really liked it. Reminds me of my daughter. She absolutely loves to draw and paint. And so I wanted to go ahead and get that, put that in her room. And this is a 42.6 centimeter by 52.7 centimeter. And this one is a round. The next one, and some of these are gonna be different ways here. This one is space for reflection. That's a little dark. And this is also a round. This is a Chuck Pinson. It is a 74 by 55 centimeter. The next one is a fairly new one. Um, this is To Grandmother's House We Go. I have no idea how to pronounce this artist's name. I do apologize. Uh, you can see it underneath here. And this is a 51 centimeter by 66 centimeter. I'm going to be doing this around September, October for Halloween. And it is a square. Okay, the next one, I hope these do not fall the next one is The Librarian. This one is by Cheryl Baker. It is a square, it is 65 centimeter by 83 centimeter. This one I will unbox on my channel whenever I get ready to work on it. I cannot wait. I love Cheryl Baker's artwork and have several of hers that I need to do. The next one is Reflections. And this one is by John Sloan, and it is a square. It is a 71 centimeter by 56 centimeter. And one of the main reasons why I had gotten this one is because of this covered bridge. When my husband and I got married, we got married in Gatlinburg, and there was a red covered bridge, and it was by a flowing creek. And so I wanted to get this in honor of that. And of course, I haven't done it yet. This one is Fuji Flora. It is by Dominique Davison. I love this one. We went to Japan in the 90s and spent 10 days there on a trip and we were treated like royalty and I just love everything about the Asian culture 
This is a square. It is 105 centimeter by 70 centimeter. I have seen that one completed and it is gorgeous. This one is an evening stroll by Deborah Malcolm. This one is a round. It should not take very long. It's a 71 centimeter by 56 centimeter. And I just love this one. I have seen it completed and it was absolutely gorgeous. The next one is Vibrant Italy. This is by Chuck Pinson. It's another large one. I'm trying to get that in focus. This is a square. It is a 93 centimeter by 70 centimeter. And let's see. I have another Chuck Pinson reflection on country living. The majority that I have of Pinson is, is squares, which is this one. And this is a 71 centimeter by 56 centimeter. That one's really pretty too. So this is the smallest one that I have that is under landscape. This is Paris Spring. It's a fairly new one um, that I purchased. This is by Tava Studios. And it is a round 43 centimeter by 53 centimeter. I haven't even opened that one yet to get the small little photo off of there. This one is David McLean. This is Russia with Love. I've had this one for a really long time too. This is a square, a 98 centimeter by 70 centimeter. This one is another Pinson. You can tell that I really like Chuck Pinson. I have done several of his. This one is Treasures of the Great Outdoors. And this is a square. It is a 94 centimeter by 70 centimeter. That one's gonna be really pretty. That one I want to work on in the fall because it gives me fall vibes. This one is a really fun one. And this is by Dominique Davison. This is the old shoe house. And I thought this was really cute whenever I bought it. I wanted to do it immediately. I've had it for about a year and a half and still haven't done it. And it's 105 centimeter by 70 centimeter. And also what I do is that my husband built me really nice shelves to go in my craft room. And so what I do is I open the box and I will put the small sticker, I'm starting to come off the small sticker there. And when I put it on my shelf, then I can see exactly what it is. So I don't have to go through and try to remember where I put everything because I know I wouldn't. This one is Country Inn and Farm by David McLean. I'm trying to get that to focus. Okay, it's focusing a little bit, a little better than it was. So it is dark. It is a 98 centimeter by 70 centimeter. And I am filming this in my craft room in the basement. I've been filming upstairs lately, but I didn't want to carry all these upstairs and then have to bring them back down. So I just went ahead and did it down here. The heat just came on, so it's gonna be a little loud. This one is Sakura Festival by Yumi Art. It is a 95 centimeter by 65 centimeter. That one's gonna be really pretty. It's another dark one, so it may be hard for you to see it. So those are all of my landscapes. I'm going to put these up and then bring the next ones out. So the next ones I'm going to do are animals. And this one is Hugo Hedge. And this is by Lowell Herrero, looking at this sideways. And this is a round and this is 69 centimeters by 51 centimeters. The next one is by Patrick Lamontague. This is Otter. And this one is 59 centimeters by 43 centimeters. And this is a round. This one is the Pumpkin Herder by Cheryl Baker. And this one um, has a black cat. And I am going to unbox this when it gets closer to Halloween. 
another Halloween. Um, this one is Feline Familiars by Chrysabug, and this is 51 centimeter by 51 centimeters. This one is Halloween Cat, and this is by Puffy Gator. This is 50.7 centimeters by 50.7 centimeters. I've done one Puffy Gator and really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to that one. This one I bought back in 2020. This is Nightbringer by JoJo's Art, and I have been putting this off forever. I've seen it, it's really gorgeous, but this was before I knew about 310, and I know there's going to be so much 310 in this that I don't know when I'm gonna get around to it. I am going to do it. It may just go in my stash, in my whips, and I'll work on it um, every now and then. Um, but I know I'm gonna get really bored um, because it's going to be so much color blocking and so much 310. Hopefully the 310 will not be very trashy, um, but this is a round and this is 77 centimeter by 55 centimeter. The next one is another really old one. And this is Polanyi by Mika Jelena. And this is a round and it is a 76 centimeter by 51 centimeter. I could turn it the right way. That's that one. Then I have Garnock King of the Woodlands, another Cheryl Baker. This is 56 centimeters by 71 centimeters. Then I have Kitty Cat, and it's another Jeremiah Kettner. And this is 56 centimeter by 79 centimeter. It is a square. I thought that one was really cute. I'm running out of space here on the floor. And this one's Snow Leopard by Sandra Winther. And this is a round 51 centimeter by 50 by 61 centimeters. Um, this one is White Tiger. And this was an old one where they did not put the artist on here, so I'm not sure who it is. Um, it is a square. It is a 51 by 51 centimeter. I don't think it says on the end either. I don't want to open it, so we'll go with that. This one's Abstract Cat. This is by Eve Zett. It is a square, 51 centimeters by 51 centimeters. Another Jeremiah Kettner. This one's floating along. This is a round. It is a 51 centimeter by 71 centimeter. Then I have Blue Eye Tiger. This is another really old one. It's a square. It is a 54 by 42 centimeter. And I don't know who the artist is. Then I have... This one is... Tula Loose Lar Largent Mailbox by Laua Herrero. Thought this was really cute. And this one is a 56 centimeter by 43 centimeter. It is a round. I'll probably start working on the rounds first and then start working on squares. And um, this is Sotara, 61 by 41 centimeters. It is a round. And again, the artist is not on the box. And let's see, this one is another Jeremiah Kettner. This is a round. It is 51 by 64 centimeter. And this is night, I don't know if this is pronounced Kitsune or Kitsune. I've seen it both ways, but I thought that was really cute. And I will be working on that one hopefully this summer. That's the plan. So now I'm going to go to the next topic and or theme. And that is going to be mystical. These are mystical. The first one is a card fairy dust. This is by Sherry Baldy. It is a round. It is an 84 centimeter by 51 centimeter. Goes like that. The next one is Snow Queen by Sarah Mustafa. This one is a 50.70 centimeter by 60.8 centimeter. And this one's around. The next one is Hogwarts and Hedwig. Let's see if I can get this one. This one's kind of 
there it's, it is dark it is a round and it is a 56 centimeter by 64 centimeter this one is meridia and this is a square 51 by 76 centimeter Then I have, this one's a fairly new one. This is the Gardener of Teratoff by Heather R. Hitchman. It is a round, it's a 50.70 centimeter by 68.9 centimeter. Then I have Sandy my, by Minka Jelena. It is a round, it's a 97 centimeter by 51 centimeter. I have Clockwork Dragon by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This is a round. It's a 51 centimeter by 69 centimeter. It is the only JBG that I have of Diamond Art Clubs, but I have several of hers from Craftably. I have Storytime. This is by Amy Brown. It is a round. It's 56 centimeter by 71 centimeter. Time to spare. This one is 56 centimeter by 69 centimeter. It is by Sarah Mustafa. It's also a round. And I have What's in Here by Amy Brown. This matches the other one. It is a round. It is 71 centimeter by 56 centimeter. And so that's all of my mystical and fairy. And the next one I'm going to do are people. Okay, I have several people. I have Flower Crazy. This one is by Sandra Winther. This is a 56 centimeter by 74 centimeter, and it's a square. This one is Worlds Away, and this is a round. It is a 73 by 55 centimeter. That's really dark. I've had this one for a very long time as well. Not sure who the artist is. It's not on the box. Then I have Rain Keeps Falling by Anna Morte. This one's around. It is a 56 centimeter by 71 centimeter. This one is definitely out of my comfort zone because of how dark that it is. But I love butterflies. She has butterflies all over her. And I thought this would be absolutely gorgeous. I want to do all of these like now. And of course, that's not going to happen. Um, we have Bookworm Girl by Willowing Arts. I'm going to put this in my office at work. This is a 51 centimeter by 71 centimeter. And it's around. All my students, when they come in, they see all my books. They call me a bookworm girl. So I thought that would be really cute to put in my office if I ever get around to it. This one is Sweet Tooth by Mika Jelena. This is a 56 centimeter by 76 centimeter. It's a round. And this one, I mean, I guess it really shouldn't be in people, but I love Wizard of Oz. And this one is A Long Journey Home by Simona Candini. And this is a 56 centimeter by 56 centimeter. And it is a square. The next one is Jules and Vern by Mika Jelena. This is a 56 centimeter by 56 centimeter. It is a round. I've had this one for a very long time. I think I purchased it at the end of 2021. And this one is Evening Light. It could have gone with cats, with my animals. It could have gone with Whimsical. And this is by Jeremiah Kettner. It's a 56 centimeter by 74 centimeter. And it's a square. Right. Um, these are my final ones, and I'm going to put underneath on the description, I will have a list, so if you want to skip some of this, you can, and that way you won't have to watch all of this, although if you've gotten this far, you've already seen them all. And, but we have Snowflake Carolers, and this one is by Tim Bowers. It is a 41 centimeter by 51 centimeter, and it's a round. I have Christmas Gnome Trio, and this is by 
Lori Fennell, and it is a round. It is a 76 centimeter by 56 centimeter. I have Festive Fireplace by Dominique Davison. This one is a 98 centimeter by 70 centimeter, and it's a square. I have Santa Face, and this is by the McNeil Studio. It is a round. It is a 51 centimeter by 71 centimeter. Surprisingly, that's all that I have for Christmas. Then I have Wild Flowers Butterflies. This is by Gina Jane, and this is an 84 centimeter by 56 centimeter, and it's a round. Okay, and then I have Ellie May BU by Richard Lorenz. This is a round, and this is a 50.7 centimeter by 68.9 centimeter. I was debating on getting the one that just came out, and I didn't because I have these, and I haven't even done these yet. So I decided not to, even though it was a limited edition. And um, this one is Next to You by Richard Lorenz. Thought that was really cute. It is a square. It's a 137 centimeter by 51 centimeter. Wow, I didn't realize it was that large. Okay, now I have, can you tell I really like Richard Lorenz? This is Cletus Early Bird, and this is a square. It is a 42.8 centimeter by 55.8 centimeter. Jules and Vern, I've already showed you that one. Oh, God, these are still up there. That one rank is falling. I guess I didn't put those two up when I should have. Okay, this one I missed underneath Mystical. This one is Sear, and this is by Miles Pickney. It is a square. It is a 65 centimeter by 80 centimeter. I hope all these don't start falling. I have another Richard Lorenz. This is Family Circus. This is a 70 centimeter by 93 centimeter, and it is a square. This one is Tea Party, and this is by Simona Candini. Um, this one's a square. It is a 93 centimeter by 70 centimeter. And this one I've had for a really long time as well. This one is Dark Moon, and this is by Alb Valero. This is a square, and it is a 70 centimeter by 76 centimeter. It's another one that's going to have a lot of the black background, so I'm really nervous about that. But I'm eventually going to do it. So that is all of my Diamond Art Club, which that's more than I really should have. I'm definitely going to start working on them. And that is why you see a, a lot of times on my channel, there's more Diamond Art Club than anything else, because that's what I have the most of. But I am going to start working on my other canvases from other companies. So you're going to see those more, because that's what I really want to do, my goal for this year is to give those some love too and to try some that I may have and I haven't done those before or maybe I haven't even done them. I'm going to purchase some from other companies. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will put in the description how many that I have total of um, the five of my um, videos that I had and I will also put underneath the eye that playlist so you can go and see the ones that you've missed if you would like to. This is going to conclude this series. Thank goodness I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get to all of these because this, I'll tell you, is a lot of work. I didn't think it would be that much work, but it has really been a lot, but it's been fun. And luckily, I keep all of my paintings together. There were only four that I had in the spare bedroom that I did not move down, which I've already done. So that now has everything where it should be. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.